I'm about to show you something that deeply saddens me. But it also proves my point on many fronts. Here we go. For 25 years of my life, I come from a very long line of strong women. They always encourage me to use every single resource to help another young woman who's on her journey. I am sure black women will lead this nation to a better place. We're taking control and we're shaping our stories. When I saw this, a friend of the show sent this to me in DMs. I didn't see it until today. I think it's been out a day or so. At least 24 hours. When I saw this, folks, I had a physical reaction, a, a, uh, a visceral reaction. Like I wanted to just throw up. Not just because Tamika Mallory there, the civil rights activist who has risen. Not just that she is commodifying or allowing herself to be commodified. I don't know. She's getting her bag. Okay? She's picking up her money. She's being sponsored by Cadillac. And I know she was just in the Grammys performing with the baby. When they did a song and all these people, uh, folks, we are, they are taking the pain of blackness and what black people have gone through in this country and use it in order to enrich themselves. They are using I fucking struggle to be influencers and to market themselves and to help them in their careers and their ascension into pop culture, into whatever else. Now look, folks, I know we live in a capitalist society. We do. And there's not a damn thing in this country that's not for sale. Shit, we were literally founded on selling human beings or buying human beings. Literally, that's what America is, man. This is a country that we used to work five-year-olds in shops where they lost their arms and legs. We drove truckers across the, te across, uh, the country. They had them drive, and if, if, if they couldn't work two days without sleep, we fired them and put the next guy in. We had the drivers taping cigarettes to their arms to keep them wake, awake so they'd wake up when the butt burnt down to the skin. Well, we beat up union, people trying to unionize, literally kick their asses with the cops helping us do it. Where to this day, Amazon workers are defecating and in bags because they can't take a bathroom break or, or whizzing in bottles because they can't get two minutes to go to the to the restroom or they'll be or their pay will be docked. This is where we are. And look, Tamika Mallory lives in that country. All of us, all of us live in that country. All of these activists live in that country. So I understand why. People do what they do, but God damn it, y'all, I can't co-sign that shit. And neither can you. What did we just say? We said, they're not our friends. You're not my friend. I don't live through you. You don't live through me. We either fight the good fight or we don't. Folks, Fannie Lou Hammer didn't have a deal with Kodak or Polaroid. 
I said Fannie Lou Hamer didn't get a deal with Kodak or Polaroid. She wasn't a spokesperson. She wasn't sponsored. Brought to you by McDonald's. Fred Hampton was not sponsored by Mercedes. Malcolm X was not sponsored by Kinty Claw. What's to you about the makers of Bear Asper? No, because we are diametrically opposed to their bullshit. We cannot be enmeshed in that money making, in that commodifying. We can't. Or oh, cheap is what we do. Tamir Rice's mother has been very vocal about this. She called out numbers of people. She called out Sean King. She called out uh, Tamika Mallory. And others. And I'm riding with her. How can you call her an agent? How is Tamir Rice's mother is not an agent because she calls out what she feels is people riding, riding the death and profiting off the death of her son. Not for the benefit of the people as much as it is the benefit of themselves, their own self, self financial wealth, their own accumulation of stuff. And what's this feminism garbage? No, really. Like, I understand white women. Hey, white women are the most powerful people in this country except for white men. I get them wanting to exert their... But black people only survive because we stuck together as men and women. That's the only reason why we have black people today. They try to destroy us, get rid of us. The only reason why we're here is because we're together. And we got this woman about, I'm a black woman in the black with no men in it. Now, a black man making a, com a, a video like this, a commercial like this, I would expect to see his kids, his wife, something. The unit, because that's how a people grows. What are you doing? And why are people allowing it? And why are you quiet? Because you want to get your fucking bag too. You want to get your bag. You don't want to hear nobody getting back. Folks, sometimes you don't get to get the bag, Johnson. I'm not talking about looking at anybody's heart and knowing in their soul and all that other bullshit. I'm talking about what I see. We don't have time. I don't have time to examine you. I don't know you. I didn't grow up with you. Like I was told, we don't know each other. I don't know you for 30 years. I don't know your pains, your fears, what you've been through. But I do know what I see. I see that. that this I see. I see you stepping your ass out of a Cadillac, walking into a mansion, walking to a fucking mansion with a bunch of other people dressed really nice, talking about womenhood. We were talking about unity and fight back against the system, which is what I thought you were about, which is what you've been supposed to be about. And I should have known when I saw Instagram, people posing in, in fucking swimsuits and posing, look, try to look cute. People try to. I'm like, this ain't the fuck what Malcolm X would do. What are you doing? And if you don't want to be compared to real civilized leaders that we revere and respect, stop pretending to be one. And sit your ass down there. Like, I'm not putting you with these people. Well, I'm not this person. I'm me. I mean, well, then sit your ass down and stop pretending to be. Stop telling those white people that you are when you're not. Be you. Don't want to be held up to that type of scrutiny. Don't, put, don't stand in that line. You stood in that line. Stand your ass over there. I get it, man. Nobody wants to be in the catch the bullet in the ass line. I totally get it. I get that. No one took a vow of poverty. I get that too. Stand over there though. Stand, no, move from here. Go over there and stop talking about, stop trying to sound like these people who sit over here. Go stand over there somewhere. That's what you do. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Don't be fooled by corporate media talking heads misleading the people. Get your news and information from an entity that keeps it real. Tim Black. Tim Black is the host of The Tim Black Show. 
independent news that leaves you informed, inspired, and sometimes entertained, but always in the know. Go to TimBlackTV.com and sign up today. The Tim Black Show is news for people who can't stand the news. See you there.